Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic for CSIR UGC Net Life Science aspirants, the cutoff mark of 2018. Definitely a confidence booster, a must know information before your preparation. So this is the data from the official website of CSIR HRTG. So this is a cutoff mark of the exam held on 17th June 2018. So let's take the case of life sciences. So you can see for JRF net, for both JRF and net, unreserved category the cutoff mark was 55%, for OBC it was just 46 for SC 40, ST 34%, persons with disabilities 25%, whereas for lectureship it was slightly below 50% for undeserved category, for OBC it was 42%, SC 36, ST 30%, differently abled persons it was 25%. Let us discuss a question pattern to understand the importance of this data. So this is a question pattern of CSAR UGC net life science exam. There are three parts A, B, C, whereas A part is a general part you need to write 15 questions out of 20 and you have two marks for each question so total marks is 30. In P part we get questions from life science from different subjects botany, zoology, microbiology, biotechnology etc. We have 50 questions and we need to answer 35 questions. Two marks for each questions total marks allotted in that part is 70. In C part the toughest part where we have the application level questions, descriptive questions and we need to pick out the right answer. So we have 75 questions and we need to write only 25 and marks allotted is 4 therefore total mark is 100. In total we have 200 marks. The first point I want to tell you is that you just need 100 to 110 marks for qualifying this exam. From my experience, when I started preparing for this exam during my post-graduation, when I went through the question paper, I could hardly even knew 10 questions and I even thought like this, am I the person to qualify this exam? With God's grace and help from many, I qualified the exam in the result awaited category itself. What I learned from my experience is, this is an exam that is tough for everyone. While going through the question paper, you may find it extremely difficult. Remember, even the topper in the country is getting only 55% mark. So you don't have to worry about that. It's quite natural that you may not be able to answer all these questions. You are quite normal. Nothing to worry about that. So you think from a different angle. Now, each question is important. We may need to work very well to write a single question. Take the case of geological time scale. You will be getting a question from geological time scale, but you have to learn the complete topic for a single question, but it is a sure shot. Not an application level question, which is the origin of angiosperms, which is the origin of gymnosperms, etc. So whatever you learn, learn deep. This exam is of high quality, it is a tough exam for everyone, so each question is very important. Second point, you just need 50% of marks, close to 50 to 60% of marks. So during the preparation, why we feel it very difficult when we see this question paper for the first time? The reason is that the pattern of questions is entirely different, different from the pattern of post-graduation syllabus that we are having, uh, whatever it be, MSc, Zoology, Botany, Biotechnology, Microbiology, whatever it be. Life Science is very vast. A person with post-graduation in Botany may not be aware of latest happenings in Biotechnology. A person in Biotechnology may not be knowing Ecology like that. So that is the difficulty that we have. So it's quite natural. So the most important thing is you need to work out maximum number of previous question papers. Each question is important and while answering each question, 
Rather than getting scared, each question should add your confidence, should make you love the science more. That is the beauty of this exam. So point number two is you should work out maximum number of previous questions as even you may be a topper in university, that doesn't matter at all in this exam. It's quite a different ball game. And the third point, as I mentioned, we just need 55 to 60 percent marks. At the end of the examination, there is a tendency that while seeing the front sheet, we have answered very few number of questions as there is a tendency to answer more. We need to, we think that we need to bubble more in order to qualify this exam. Definitely, this tendency will fetch you with more and more negative marks. The last 30 minutes, last 10 to 15 minutes of the exam is very crucial. That marks can definitely break your dream. So bear in mind that 50 to 60 percent question is required. So try to keep that negative marks very low. That's very important in qualifying this exam. Best wishes for your exam. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com. Thank you so much for your support.